Hey folks, Rob here, and I thought I'd bring you a, a new gun. Just picked this up, ordered this a few days ago uh, from Kentucky Gun Company. This is a Charles Daly uh, 301 uh, home defense shotgun. Uh, the thing of these are, uh, these have the uh, adjustable or uh, interchangeable choke tubes that come with it. Now, when I ordered this a few days ago, they were $209 at Kentucky Gun Company. Uh, I checked on their website a couple days after I ordered it. These are now $189 at Bud's. So we're going to unbox it together and uh, see if uh, this is something some of you guys might be interested for $189. It comes with uh, interchangeable choke tubes, or at least it's supposed to, like the... Uh, the Citadel I bought, which uh, ended up not having it, even after the advertisements all said they did. So, we're going to unbox this gun and see what all we get. Alright, well, when we open the box, this one is in the tactical gray Cerakote. That's just the paperwork where I picked it up at the local pawn shop. So, inside here, you get your, you get a plug for the uh, plug it to three rounds so that's good to have uh, so, so you do get your choke tubes this one they did not falsely advertise on this gun so inside here you have your choke tubes and a choke tube bridge and these are the uh, Benelli mobile mobile chokes so any uh, Benelli uh, choke tube a mobile choke tube will fit this so it came with uh, three choke tubes and uh, inside the box here you have your gun and it comes wrapped in this plastic so let's pull it out of this plastic and there is the first look at the gun uh, got a lot of oil on it it is Cerakote so let's remove our magazine end cap here appears to be aluminum it's well made has the sling mount already on it so let's pull our bolt out and uh, just kind of inspect it here initially so we're not going to go in depth on this because I am going to do a video where we actually uh, disassemble the gun clean it get it ready for its first shot so we're going to, it says inside, barrel inside, so let's uh, open this box. Let's lay this aside a minute and get our barrel out of here. Silica gel pack. So, and here is our barrel. And that's about all there is in the box. The plug and the manual. I'll probably keep this out because I may, because my intentions for this gun is to be a home defense slash hunting gun. So, uh, I, as I get older, I like to pack around less weight, and less, uh, just like to carry less weight so inside here oh they don't put stickers on them anymore they actually have a little plastic uh, Charles Daly and you can see it does have the interchangeable choke tube comes with three chokes uh, model 301 12 gauge 3 inch um, Chiapa firearm so this is imported uh, and it's made by Merrick, uh, made in Turkey. So the Cerakote looks pretty, pretty nice on it. It has a chrome lined bore. So the bore of this is chrome lined, interchangeable choke tubes, a white, uh, a white dot on the front side. So let's install our barrel onto our firearm. And 
look at it from there. So we have installed our, our barrel, but we're not completely in there. Yeah. There we go. Now we're all the way. So we've installed our barrel. Tighten our four end cap or our magazine tube cap. And there is the shotgun. Has pretty nice uh, uh, padding on the butt pad. This is so much similar to so many of these other Turkish made shotguns. Um, uh, the similarities are just so. They're so similar. It's just uh, like Boomstick says, they're probably all made in one factory and with different doors, and they just send them out each door. So, anyway, not a bad looking little gun. It's fairly smooth to, to rack. Uh, does appear to have an aluminum follower. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it has aluminum follower. Uh, the bolt is black. This is all plastic. Has some stippling on the bottom of the trigger guard. The plastic has some nice uh, grippy uh, serrations there on the on the hand grip. The forearm feels good. It's not overly fat. It does have pick rail on the bottom. And here is your bolt release. On top, seems like it locks up good and tight. Your safety's right here. Let's see what trigger's not bad. Trigger is not bad at all. Yeah, so let's wipe it off a little bit here and get some of this. Put a little CLP on there and take some of this oil off. But we'll take it apart and clean it. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to give you a first look at the uh, Charles Daly Defense uh, 301 tactical model. Uh, this is uh, the uh, tactical gray Cerakote. Uh, right now, these are $189 at uh, Kentucky Gun Company. If it uh, shoots and functions and does well, that's pretty well. That's an exceptional deal for the fact that it does come with the interchangeable chokes. Now, when I bought the uh, Citadel, the purpose of buying it was the fact that it was an 18-inch barrel with uh, supposed uh, interchangeable chokes, which it ended up not having. So, what I want to do in a video series is I want to compare what are the benefits, and I know that a long barrel gun does have benefits, especially when you bird hunt or waterfowl or something like that. Uh, shooting clay pigeons and things like that. But for the type of hunting I do, uh, uh, m mostly squirrel hunting. That's what I do the most. And uh, squirrel hunting, uh, some dove hunting in the fall, maybe. Not every year, but some years I dove hunt. Um, some rabbit hunting uh, occasionally. Um, you know, just standard uh, small game field uh, stuff. Um, turkey, a uh, turkey gun. I mean, would, uh, you know, what kind of turkey gun would this make? It is ribbed up here for uh, a base. You can buy those bases that slide on there, similar to what's on the Citadel. So it is grooved uh, to put a base. So, you know, you could, uh, you could uh, mount a red dot on this. And uh, with a turkey tube, uh, possibly make a good turkey gun. And... Uh, so that's, that's kind of my premises, you know, what are the benefits of, uh, you know, uh, a shorter, lighter gun, and we'll get a weight on this. Let's see if we can get this uh, to come on and get a weight on this. Try to get it on here without touching the table. Or, so we got, make sure we're not touching anything, uh, six pounds. 17 ounces, so almost seven pounds. It's not a, is that six pounds, one ounce? I think that's, I can't read it backwards, guys. I'm looking at it backwards. Let me turn it around here where I can see it, since you've already seen it. 
yeah, six pounds, 15 ounces. So almost seven pounds. That's not a light gun by any means. The uh, Citadel is definitely a lighter gun. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to see, uh, and another uh, video I got in mind doing is what is the effect of the pattern of a shotgun from an 18 inch barrel to a 28 inch barrel given the same choke tube. So I have the Hatfield, which is a 28 inch barrel and it also takes the Benelli choke tubes, same as these. So given a, the same choke in the gun, you know, at, at given distances, what would the effect of the shorter barrel be and do you really lose anything as far as pattern? I know you lose a little bit as far as velocity, but, uh, you know, velocity doesn't always uh, dictate your pattern. Uh, your choke tube has a lot to do with the pattern of your shotgun. And uh, so I want to see kind of my whole premise of this is why do companies that make these short barrel guns not uh, thread them for interchangeable chokes to make them a more all around gun, a more a more of uh, going from a home defense gun to maybe a uh, a turkey gun to maybe maybe have to use it in the field to uh, you know um, to squirrel hunt or even you know uh, maybe you know uh, a lot of people can shoot a short barrel gun and shoot uh, waterfowl and things of that nature just just as easily with a short barrel. I do know a longer barrel gives you a little better swing, a little smoother swing. But anyway, guys, that's just the first look and kind of my reasoning behind purchasing this gun uh, let me give you one real close-up look at it uh, I haven't wiped it down so you may see some some uh, but uh, we'll give you a real close quick look and then we'll sign off and we'll do a little video later on and I do apologize for not having shot the uh, citadel shotgun yet uh work has been crazy and i just haven't had time to uh, or the energy to go out and shoot any so uh hopefully we'll get to doing that uh when i bring one out I'll, I'll do them both anyway guys thanks for watching i appreciate it uh give me a thumbs up uh, if you don't like the video give me a thumbs down uh, leave a comment um uh, Tell me what your thoughts are on long barrel versus short barrel. And uh, if you think this gun is uh, is more versatile than, say, a 28-inch barrel, uh, chime in on that. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. And until the next video, we'll see you later.